Welcome to the GAD7 video. In this video, we will review procedures leading up to social survey data collection and specifically explore the GAD7 social survey. In Scrubs is student Dr. Caitlin Bierman Mackey and on the patient table is social work student Ruby Vela. I, as the student doctor, am here to take the patient's vitals before and after each yoga session and when the research participants return their saliva samples after collection. These vitals will be another set of data analyzed for the study. The vitals include height, weight, heart rate, blood pressure, respirations, body temperature, and pulse oximetry. After vitals are taken, the social work student will administer psychological screening surveys, and upon the results of the survey, will also give the participants a list of mental health resources. This is another source of data to explore the mental health and its relationship with corresponding cortisol levels. This also connects students with a local mental health resource that they can reach out to on an individual basis if they feel so inclined after learning the results of their psychological surveys. Now, the social work student Ruby will explain one part of the psychological self-reporting screening survey that will be administered, the GAD-7. The GAD-7, which stands for Generalized Anxiety Disorder, is one of the most common ways to evaluate anxiety severity. It accurately evaluates anxiety that the patient has experienced within the last two weeks. There are seven questions which compromise the questionnaire, and for each of the seven questions, there are four answers for patients to choose from based on how they have felt in the past two weeks. These answers are based on the number of days in the past two weeks the patient has experienced certain symptoms of anxiety. The answer choices are not at all, several days, more than half the days, and nearly every day. Every answer is scaled as 0, 1, 2, or 3. Zero meaning the patient is not experiencing that symptom, three meaning that the patient is experiencing that symptom nearly every day, and so on and so forth. The patient will circle the answers that best describe their symptoms. After the patient is done, they should give it back to the social worker for them to score. The patient should not score themselves as that is the social worker's role. The social worker will then write the score on the corner of the page. The survey is scored by adding up the numbers column and then adding all of those to get a total score. The social worker will then look at the anxiety severity scale that determines which exact severity patient is at. Zero to four, minimal anxiety, five to nine, mild anxiety, 10 to 14, moderate anxiety, and 15 to 21, severe anxiety. The social worker will hand the patient mental health resources and see if the patient has any questions.